Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Loki, and I'm back with some more Passion Lip Interlude Soccer Labyrinth M. Uh, we're gonna continue on. I see the previous part if you want to see more of this, uh, by the way. Uh, no. I just realized it would be better to have. Yeah. Okay. Keeping BB on. A lot of this is a lot of just saying the story, but hey. If you like it, remember to leave a like. It really helps a whole lot to let me know whether or not it's worth doing all this stuff. I've already committed hard to doing all of Lip, so you're going to get all of Lip, so let's get doing this. Um, I still can't believe I'm walking around in her mind. It's insensitive and immoral, right? That's what the far side of the moon is all about. Hmm. Looks like we've got a little ways to go until the real first real obstacle. Now why don't we take advantage of this time and go and go over the finer points of what an alter ego is. First off, when I say alter ego, I'm talking about the servants that were born from me. The Soccer series like Metalurus and Passion Lip. See the original BB, the one that I was copied from, went a little buggy once. Even though she was an AI, she tried to emulate humans. She attempted to remake the world to suit her own purposes just like they do. And to that, she modified herself over and over. On the far side of the moon, where there's no concept of time. One day, she tried to level up again and again in a void space be uh, before a certain master finished their fifth battle. Usually that kind of growth should have been impossible, she was never designed to be expanded that way. Imagine trying to slap a combustion engine on a manual scooter and you'll have some idea of what that was like. But even though she wasn't designed for it, BB kept adding engines to her little time to her tiny frame. She started with an engine for the same size scooter as her, then moved on for a for a motorcycle. Next, she added a car engine, then one for a pickup truck, a dump truck, a private jet, a battle cruiser. It was like looking at the engineering equivalent of a dumpster fire, or maybe like a cancer cell spreading throughout a host. But it still wasn't nearly enough to achieve her goal. She kept modifying herself more and more radically. A jet engine, an oil tanker, a power plant, a nuclear reactor, all sorts of engines her little frame was never built to support. She piled on ill-fitting addition after another and ended up turning into a gigastructure. By that point, her insides were a hot mess. Her human thought process was bound to, to get all screwed up. And that's what led to the birth of the Sakura 5. Somewhere along the way, Bibi got the idea to separate her expanding egos and functionality from herself and make them into her assistants. When all was said and done, five alter egos had been born, five AIs created from BB's own emotions. Emotions she cut off from herself because she decided they were unnecessary. Well, not quite. She feared them because she couldn't control them any longer. Metalurist, the alter ego of pleasure, Passion Lip, the alter ego of love and hatred. Violet, the alter ego of purity, King Protea, the alter ego of desire, and Kazudrop, the alter ego of affection. Every ego was born from Bibi's emotion, but Lip was one of the most dangerous. She refused to face her flaws, demanded unconditional love, and hated anyone who, would, who wouldn't give it to her. Like they say, it's a thin line between love and hate. As an ego, Lip blindly loved and loathed whoever she set her eyes on, her sights on. Almost got through that perfectly. Leave a like for that. Still after a bunch of shit went down, she learned there's no such thing as unconditional love, and she's been working on accepting that. Lip's a hard worker. True, it just goes to show that if you want to be loved, it doesn't matter how cute you are. You still need to have the courage to put yourself out there, the sincerity to work on your flaws and consideration for others. Of course, I've already I've already got that sort of thing pound down pat. I'm always thinking of new ways to trip up humanity. Hmm, what's with that look? You don't believe I have that all down? I'll have you know I was being serious. Uh, that was a whip cracking against an innocent female body, if I ever heard one. Sounds like we're finally reaching SG territory. Come on, senpai, I think we're about to see one of Lip's secrets for ourselves. Uh, please stop. I didn't do anything wrong. Why are you being so mean to me? Shut up. What's with all that flab? You're an embarrassment to the entire Shishigumi. Space Toshi? Not even Okita would let herself go that much. You're wasting your best weapon. A dumpling like you is all fat and no flavor. Only thing you're good for now is testing a new branding iron. 
It says incorrigible slash the full moon still glows in the autumn mire mire fire. Please don't make me into a roasted dumpling, but if you have to, please at least spare me the awful haiku. <laughs> that wasn't a haiku. I think I remember right, I gave uh, this dude here a Batman voice. No, it was drunk Michael Ironside. I was just thinking out loud. I do much better than that if I put my mind to it. Well, this is horrible. Why is he making lips on the floor while he whacks her shoulders with giant paper fan? Vice Commander, what do you think you're doing? Oh, putting your mind to make you a poet. Shut up. Can you stand in the middle of an interrogation, huh? Oh, this shit, what are you doing in the discipline room? Before a second, I think you doesn't belong here. Go back to your quarters. And don't tell anyone else what you saw here. As for the haiku, well, that sort of thing just slips out when the other soldiers aren't around. So that was his best effort. <laughs> what are you doing here? What am I doing? Well, yeah. Uh, what am I doing here? I remember I came here because I heard there was a huge... I mean, premium dumpling to be had, so why am I only a giant paper fan? Uh, do you like torturing people? Huh? Eh. No, I don't, but I'm good at it. It's a shit you're gonna need at some door. I was good at it. Sure about that? Because you're handling the paper fan like it's second nature. It's not that. He took me prisoner out of nowhere. I thought he was nice at first, since he pointed out my bad posture and said it would make my shoulders stiff. But after I talked a bit about how berserkers are just glass cannons and how I have all sorts of defenses... <laughs> And he doesn't get any way, I guess he doesn't have any way to defend himself even though the battle only really begins once stamina starts running low. You couldn't say he's just asking to get killed. I started going on about how slovenly I was. Ah, oh, jeez. Lips tendency to rile people up even without without even trying two strikes again. So what? As the only other battlefield, you couldn't stand to look at Lip and all her excess defense or chest padding? Don't be sure. What do you take me for a girl with a cool black cape? I don't have your mind with her chest. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give it <laughs> I don't have a problem with her chest. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give it 100. The problem is her pitiful posture. She got first class goods, but she can't show them off properly. If she did, I'd rank it 200 out of 10. You'd be the greatest thing ever, that's what I can't stand. Ah, please don't hit my shoulders. The stiffness is just melting away. At any rate, as long as I drop F, I won't let anyone get away with not living up to their full potential. This woman's coming with a shish and go, man. Your black cape may be cool, but that doesn't make it to go easy on you and get in your way. Well, I think I'll have Okita, Okita start cop- oh, Wait? Copy her diet. Maybe then she'll start feeling out herself. But <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Uh, is this what dead lip, lip deals with every day? That's funny. That's really good. I approve. Again, sometimes fate is really funny when they don't lean on jokes that they've made over and over and over again. Sometimes it's, I think the funniest shit ever is when they put characters in the background. Like, um, like that, for instance, when they just randomly show up. They have really no reason to be in, in the, the battle at all. Alright, this guy is Space Toshizo. Should not be too hard. You can do this. The problem is that his Noble Phantasm does, in fact, get super crazy strong. Um, way later on, so I'll have to remember that. The more damage he takes, basically the stronger he gets. I should have brought Abby friend. Abby really knows how to deal with Berserkers. Jesus. Let's look. Uh, I think I'll go this way. Wait, let me... 
Yeah, that'll work out. She didn't get them all, but she got a good number of them. Sure, none of her skills are, le are leveled up. If they were, it would be much better. Still got a crit, though. Double crit? Yes. Not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. Hmm. I'm just gonna use this right here. Just to increase her cluster card. Unfortunately, it's not very good because I for she didn't have any crit on that, so that was actually kind of a misplay on my part. But it's fine. Shouldn't be too bad. She's got him with the big meaty claws. I forgot how stupid powerful this man is. Uh, let's see if I can use this. Nope, that was a pure miss. Uh, unfortunately, I need you to survive. So I'm gonna do that. There's a chance of you dying, so I'm gonna do this. Hi! Oh, I'm in the tank! I still don't fully understand. Is it Romantia? I thought it was Romantica. I think that just says a lot about how I pronounce words. I'm not the best at pronouncing words, man. I never said I was. I just so happen to pronounce a lot of words. Uh, let's see. This is very unfortunate because I don't think Merlin's gonna survive another hit. Okay, I got an idea. This is perhaps the greatest idea I've ever had. The greatest idea I've ever had, bar none. We should be able to win this. Be happy, baby channel. I don't think she actually says that. I think she says baby channel. I'll have to pay attention next time she says BB channel. Let's see. What? You don't have guts. That's some baloney on that part. That's some fan fiction someone's writing. And this man's over here talking about Vegeta. See, target focus, that's perfect. Do this. He'll deal a lot of damage, because his HP is really low, but let's see how much of it I can tank at least. And I prepare another mobile phantasm for BB. Lip does get insane defense, but let's see if it's enough. I don't think it is, but gather enough abalone. Perfect. Very nice. Let's see how much this does. It's gonna deal a lot. I mean, at least it should. Yes, actually. Obviously, she's dead, but it's not that bad. Either. How dare you remove your debuffs? Now, if I remember right. This. Do this. Do this. Why? Come on. God, he hits so damn hard. Why do you have more guts? <laughs> this seems stupid. Why do you have double guts? This seems stupid. This is stupid. What kind of idiot just gets double guts? This goddamn bastard. To be fair, he does need it. Because he's so weak, but... Because he's a berserker. Alright. If I remember right... Go here. Hopefully, let's see how much he heals from his. I don't think it, 
I don't know if I can deal 37,000 with BB, honestly. Let's see. Yeah, she is able to do enough. Let's see how much he heals. God damn! That's literally like it again. This is dumb. This is actually stupid. Oh wow. Let me see if I can build up for the next. There's no doubt in my mind Ushi dies this turn, but... I can't believe this idiot has so much guts. If I had known he was going to have this much guts, I would have put Jack in the party. Or someone that could have killed him super quick. Unfortunately, with the team I've got, I don't think that seems like a thing that can happen. Yeah, as expected, I, I had a few she was going to die. He missed dumbass damage. Heal. Safe. That's not good. That's not very good at all. You can do that real quick. Deal that. Just so she has it all, I guess. Unfortunately, the person I was expecting to get something didn't get anything. Nope. We'll see how this goes. Oh, having double guts. I'm gonna pause, to be honest, and we'll see how this goes. Alright, I'm back. Not much has changed, but I think things are going a little bit better than I thought, so hopefully things won't last as long as I thought. Let's see how much this does. If he adds another guts, I'll pause again and just actually beat him off screen. We'll see. She shouldn't deal a lot of damage, I think. God damn it. It's not enough. She was literally off by 666 damage. BB, you absolute freaking troll. Now he's gonna activate Guts again. I mean, it doesn't matter who he hits with this, because no, everyone has a giant ass shield. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Alright, I stunned him at least. Alright, I don't know if she has the crit buffs anymore. She does not. Damn. Alright, let's go here and see how this goes. She's There's no way she can deal that much damage at one time. It's just bad all wrong. Screw it. Alright. I ended up fighting with this team. I think they should do it. This took way less turns. As you can see, seven turns, I think. I think this is the end anyway. I have a whole bunch of crits. I removed his guts with Jack. He should be dead. If he's not dead, he's the most resilient man in the history of the world. Yeah, he's dead. This was an annoying fight. <laughs> I don't know who the hell thought this was a good idea, but... Oh, it's annoying. Anyway, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Uh, leave a like, and I'll be back with another... Another part of Lip Story. Eventually, we will... Hopefully, the next battle not as hard as this one. Let's hope. Alright. Next Till next time, everyone. Goodbye. There should be no story here, but just to be sure... Damn it. No goodbye. You're through, mysterious Okido. Gah, Okido, you bastard! Damn you, Okido! <coughs> Sorry for all the trouble our breast friend, our breast friend caused you. It's even hard for us to tell when he's joking, so it must have been bewildering for you. Again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Huh? What am I doing here? Is that you, Master? Is this a dream I'm having? The one where...
Princess Charm, Princess Charming. Oh, because I'm a female. Um, I'm a female in um my game. Princess Charming comes to save me when I'm in distress. I don't see how that could be, but if you're right here right now, then <gasps> oh. I don't know what's going on, but I must be dreaming. That means I should be able to have things here turn out just the way I want. Quiet squeam. Heart pounding. Um. <laughs> Sorry to say that after you've already lain down, but... Hey, we're just getting to the good part. <laughs> I might be dense, but you won't fool me this time. This is my mental world and Master's all human. There's no way she'd be in here. Oh, but there is. How, you ask? Maybe I helped her out get, helped her get here. Believe me, this is the one and only Wokey, live and in the flesh. Go ahead, pick your lazy ass off the floor and scan her yourself if you don't believe me. Besides, Wokey wouldn't even be here right now if it wasn't for you. As if it wasn't bad enough, you slipped and fell on top of her. You just had to go and send her tumbling into your oversized breast valley. So watch it, okay? If you had been there, you'd have been a real mess of things, Wilkie included. No way, that really is you, okay? Is this the bloopy boob music? <laughs> you heard of the, the penis music, but this is the boob music. Put this in my mind, not Breast Valley. I know you're both digital spaces, but how? Oh, that was me. I said it all the way up for your valley, just took her straight to the mind dungeon. After all, there shouldn't be any secrets between Master and her servants, right? So just resign yourself to the fact there's no getting off this emotional roller coaster now. What kind of shocking revelations does the next SG have in store about Lip? I can't wait to find out. Oh gosh, oh gosh, please don't go, it's too embarrassing. BB, why'd you have to stick your nose in things, you, you big jerk? That's your mom, Lip. Come on. <clears throat> and now, for real, goodbye. For real.